Many things have changed in the telecom sector during the past four or five years, and one of the most striking developments has been the increasing role in the communications, networking and services sector of the public cloud giants. So I'm talking today with Vivek Gupta, head of Telco AI Solutions and Partnerships at Google Cloud, to get his views on the market. So Vivek, thanks very much for joining us today. Um, how would you characterize the relationship between telcos and hyperscalers such as Google Cloud? How, for example, is Google Cloud partnering with CSPs to help them with their strategic goals and address the challenges that they face? As we had announced our uh, plans in uh, MWC of 2020, Google Cloud is uh, focusing on four very key areas to uh, help the transformation of the CSP industry to the next phase. Uh, the first one is around monetizing the edge. Uh, this is an area where Google has had you know, some great expertise in how we have delivered some of our services. And we want to bring to bear that with partnership with the CSP customers and essentially add a new source of revenue where we can enable you know, new applications that require you know, uh, latency sensitive workloads as well as you know, uh, privacy sensitive or, or, or uh, sovereign workloads uh, using the Edge Cloud. So that's one key area of focus for us. Uh, besides that, we've also, you know, our intent is to make sure that, that uh, there is a 360 degree understanding of our customer. So we are helping CSP partners to understand the customer base and offer them hyper-personalized uh, 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 as well as experience, hyper personal experiences and increase their customer lifetime value doing that. And, and we do this in a digital first way and, and we ensure that you know, uh, all the information that the CSPs have around the customers is actually stitched together to deliver these kind of experiences. The third area that we are uh, partnering with CSPs is to modernize the network. You know, this being starting from the OSS, BSS systems, you know, almost like an extension to the IT but then moving forward to their network workloads as well, uh, including private 5G offerings that, that could come out from them. And then finally, uh, we are partnering with them to modernize their you know, IT workloads onto cloud, as well as their workforce in there. So uh, you know, uh, we believe that telecom is actually one of the fundamental you know, engines of, of, of economic growth, you know, starting all the way from uh, you know, when telegraph was invented you know, 175 plus years ago, and, and, and dawn the industrial revolution to what, what is happening now. And we feel that these four areas are where Google has something different, something unique to offer and, and, and can partner with the CSP industry to, to move the ball forward here. Okay, excellent. Um, and the things you mentioned there, I mean, they constantly crop up as strategic imperatives uh, for the network operators when we talk to them. So. Uh, uh, but obviously, you know, Google Cloud, you know, isn't the only hyperscaler in the market. So what would you say are Google Cloud's particular attributes that might attract telcos to work with you? Uh, what are its strengths in relation to what telcos need as they modernize their operations? Great question. Um, you know, uh, when Google entered this market, we came up, uh, we even dared to come in because of our own learnings and history throughout developing and launching and, and, and scaling our apps across the globe. You know, we have several apps which have more than a billion users that go across the planet. And to run and manage that, we came up with, uh, we almost invented the whole DevOps SRE model. We you know, invented Kubernetes. We basically created the whole cloud native paradigm, which, is, which we have found to be way more agile, uh, less uh, you know, people intensive, and essentially uh, a most optimized way to really scale and deliver the application. So that's one area we feel very strongly that you know, we have some leadership and we want to not necessarily cut and paste everything, but percolate the best practices that we have learned that apply to the CSP world. So that is one you know, a key uh, area that we feel you know, we have, we have you know, some advantage over you know, several other people who have entered the industry. But that's just not one. I mean, uh, starting from there, if you look at you know uh, uh, our Anthos offering, which is a single pane of glass that we offer to the developer community of CSPs to essentially um, 
not worry about you know where the actual workload is running but focus on focusing on their apps itself and and making sure that you get a scalable developer ecosystem that the csps can leverage to add and introduce new services to their traditional offerings and all of this comes you know uh, over the uh, over the uh, advances and the contributions google google has made with kubernetes to the open source community it's one of the areas where google is very very focused to make sure that uh, we bring the ecosystem along in this journey together and um, you know that's another area that you will see us you know uh, uh, differentiated we are doing this together with the industry our solutions are you know, they come with a whole set of ecosystem partners be it around technology you know uh, provisioning or around network equipment partners or you know independent software vendors who come along with this so that uh, this is something that is moved across as an industry um, <clears throat> another very key facet uh, and i'll add here would be around our ai and ml pedigree and practices you know google has invested a lot in this area uh, from the very inception of the company and uh, what what we have also done you know in the last you know 3 uh, 4 years has been taking this trove of tools and and applic tools and 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 ai kind of you know ip that we have and convert it into consumable solutions for the csp industry where uh, we have clear use cases that directly you know work uh, uh, around the operations of the of the csp industry so that's one area we feel you know uh, we have some advantage over the uh, you know other hyperscalers or other providers in general and then last but not the least you know uh, what we are offering around from google cloud is complemented by a lot of other properties of google that have been in the hands of service providers you know for a while you know things like android uh, you know which we provide the which is the dominant mobile ecosystem because of these other assets that we have Uh, we are able to provide some end to end you know services and functionalities which uh, which i think is uh, not possible from other providers so we feel that we have you know a set of advantages and a set of kind of learnings that we can uh, definitely uh, you know uh, help our providers and move the state of the industry forward <clears throat> okay well uh, one of the areas where the uh, telcos really do need help is uh, how they manage the very large volumes of data that they have and that they generated from their their users their networks and the applications uh, every day how can telcos get more value from those volumes of data uh, to which they have access no well, this is a, a really you know a high traction area right now you know especially as the networks are moving from 4g to 5g the amount of data that is generated is going by orders of magnitude and you know uh, the the paradigm that data is the new oil csps are sitting on troves of data and i and and uh, this is a uh, one of the biggest opportunities the csp industry has to both use that data to you know uh, cross correlate and streamline their operations across the board but also use the same data to to curate it and make it you know consumable for the b2b customers for some top line growth so this goes at many levels at the at the very primary level you know we have our uh, fundamental data platform modernization solutions these allow you know csps to bring uh, uh, data from different departments there's a there's a big problem uh, currently with the way you know data science has evolved till today where different departments have you know their individual copies of data sometimes dated sometimes out of date and everyone is doing kind of their own you know a unique analysis that is not uh, using the full uh, well, full trove of data that the csps have so we have a, a you know a kind of infinite data storage solution where uh, csps can move all the use case related data into uh, into this cloud uh, uh, lake uh, which is also by the way extremely uh, you know careful around making sure that the data that is moving is both uh, you know uh, clear from a, a regulatory perspective from a pii perspective and adheres to any uh, you know sensitivities and and regulations that a particular uh, csp would have so that's kind of step zero that we offer in doing that itself there is a lot of cost savings from just storing the the same copy of data into you know multiple storage units inside the csps 
but that fundamental uh, uh, data lake or a data platform forms the basis of unleashing a whole set of innovations and use cases that i think is going to be almost imperative for every csp to embrace if they if they if they want to kind of you know move to the next uh, uh, generation networks in there so uh, you know these these include you know uh, fundamental use cases around network deployment and planning uh, you know a very important aspect is around network uh, service assurance and you know how the quality of experience is being managed uh, for the customers but then it also then crosses over to the customer side i think i was mentioning you know one of our pillars around customer 360 and customer analytics so you know when you have omni channel data and you are able to see you know what your customer was experience uh, at a call center which is just as close with how you know the network pro- you know um, uh, behave you start learning a lot about your customer and you can actually then leverage that information to both uh, I think I mentioned that earlier to increase customer lifetime value, but also you know delight your customer with really hyper personalized offers that that you can give to the customer. So you know that's kind of you know moving to the customer side. And as I mentioned, um, this data is not just to help the CSP's own operation. This data you know uh, has 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 a lot of value when rightly kind of curated and presented. Has immense value for many of the business customers for the CSP's. and adds another another layer of of uh, of monetization that i think the csp industry can have uh, using the their own data that can be now harnessed using these tools yeah so absolutely a lot of opportunities there for the telcos with what they can do uh, with all that data they have at their disposal uh, now another thing at top of the telco agendas is automation and automation uh, really has been on the telco wish list for years now Are you encouraged by the progress that network operators are making in terms of introducing automated processes, or do you think the sector should have been more advanced by now? Uh, I think it's an ongoing, uh, you know, progress that is happening right now. You know, when we talk about, you know, uh, the experience that we had on all the things I talked about, you know, cloud native networks running on microservice, serverless, where you are able to, you know, bring agile services run in. one of the reasons this works is uh, is because of uh, automating anything that can be automated the networks that you know uh, we have at least you know developed and 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 prospered uh, you know run on this idea of intent based architecture where you kept the desired state of where you want the network to be and then you know machines take over and and and, and take that along now when we when we move the industry you know i think the industry has come from the world of physical appliances to virtual machines to containerized networks so that is the current kind of shift that is happening that in itself is not enough to unlock the the magic of of cloud native networks absolutely an you know, automation is required where you start now scaling this you know uh, with less cost to yourself so we believe automation is going to be a critical part or that actually makes this journey worthwhile so you know uh, and 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 to your question i think we are getting there one of the challenges that definitely is there that there is fragmentation in this area and you know it came out also you know when i was there in paris in ngm in conference i think hearing you know the keynotes from several of my csp partners this was apparent that there's a need for you know uh, doing the right thing but doing the right thing along with the ecosystem at scale and it's an area where you know google has been continuing to kind of push just like we did in the you know in my previous answers around uh, you know bring the ecosystem along so we partnered with the linux foundation and we have started a, a, a open source project called nephew which is specifically focused around uh, bringing more standardized automation practices so that we can have interoperability between different vendors and and bring this to bear you know in, in a as an industry as opposed to kind of having one of solutions and and the approach that we are taking is is you know like like you know any good good effort where there is you know core principles around how we do this automation is standardized but there is enough room for you know differentiation for different players uh, uh you know and and we think that is going to be an an extremely important aspect around modernizing these telco networks just moving them to cloud native and not automating them would almost like you know miss out on on the on the on some of the big gains that you do from all the hard work that you've done to move your networks to a to a containerized network yeah absolutely great point um 
Now, uh, earlier on, when we were talking about uh, managing data, you, you mentioned how important it is to to keep to the, the regulations uh, regarding the, the storage and use of data. Um, and this often, this topic often crops up in conversations around, you know, moving data from, from one platform to another. Is a public cloud environment safe enough to store the data obtained and used by telcos in their operations? Absolutely. I think, you know, this question is kind of almost fundamental to the existence of the cloud business. And this is not a question just for telcos, but, you know, we serve industries like healthcare and, and finance and you know, certain sectors of, you know, public service, which are, you know, I would say equal, if not more, you know, adherence to, to, to data, you know, governance and data privacy. So, yes, uh, you know, this is a facet where Google has, you know, been a leader uh, in, in several aspects. You know, we have multiple tools around making sure that all the data is handled exactly by the policies and the needs of the organization and the customer that we're dealing with. So we have, you know, technologies that make sure that data is encrypted at rest, data is encrypted while in transit. Uh, we have, you know, technologies where the encryption keys actually can be, you know, managed by the customer. The philosophy that we have in, in, in this is that the customer experience should be exactly same as if they were handling their data in their own premises. Uh, and 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 you know the the extent to which we have gone uh, on this is 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 recognized by several kind of you know security organizations who looked at our practices as well as you know many valued customers who who have been using this in this fashion um, i will add one more thing in here is that you know telco industry obviously has you know even more uh, interesting requirements based on the local laws so besides all these technologies that we empower our customers to make sure that the data is fully in their control, encrypted and governed by the way they want it. We also have, you know, um, in, in some of our public announcements and, and, and partnerships, we have developed these tools where based on the sensitivity and the regulation of our CSP customers, there, is, there are some great tools from us and also from the industry actually, which will allow you to uh, redact or obfuscate or, or kind of, you know, uh, take or encrypt uh, in any any information that you don't want to uh, uh, move to the public cloud without, you know, uh, uh, doing those operations on them. So, the benefits of of you know uploading the data and getting your uh, analytics as well as insights far outweigh uh, uh, any any risk at all because there is none. There is none in terms of uh, tools that we have in technology and also you know pre another set of kind of activities that you can do on premise before you even load the data onto the public cloud. Okay, excellent. Yeah, it's critical to remember here that you know there's so many um, capabilities and, and applications and tools out there that, that can be used and that come to light uh, once uh, the, the cloud platforms are, are fully utilized. So, and I think that's something that the, the telecom industry is, is finally coming to grips with. Well, uh, Vivek, we, we've covered an awful lot of really important topics here today. It's been great to talk to you. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I had a pleasure chatting with you.